Hello everyone, this is Gary Bennett at Excel Me. Welcome to our chapter 13 tutorial uh, from my book on Swift for Absolute Beginners. We're going to be talking about the introduction to the Xcode debugger and how to get around and use it. Uh, before I get started though, for those of you that are listening live, um, I'll be able to take your questions at the end of the webinar. Uh, just type it into the question panel, the GoToWebinar control panel. Um, also, for those of you that are listening live and the recordings, you can see the schedule for the free videos, how to get to the live sessions, attend the live webinar, the YouTube channel, and what's coming up, as well as um, if you'd like to take our courses, uh, tonight we'll be starting our, our, um, our Swift programming series, the six courses. Um, they're all recorded and live, and of course, you're welcome to attend and um, or to purchase the classes just click on add to cart and you can go ahead and take those classes so let's go ahead and get started tonight on the xcode debugger and i'm going to bring up um, a, a session a swift app from the book uh, just one second here let me get it over and let's talk about moving around the IDE and setting breakpoints and how to look at when things go bad and um, and how to debug them because that's going to happen by definition as you start developing. Um, so in chapter 13, uh, the book, if you just uh, let me bring up iBooks here because I have it in that. Um, I walked through how to use it, but we're going to just kind of start with the basics and how to get around, how to set the breakpoints and how to look at the output of what we're developing. So in your gutter here, um, you can go ahead and set what's called breakpoints. That will stop the execution of the code as you're, um, as you're trying to debug and see the program flow and where it's going. So to set a breakpoint, just click in the gutter here. To remove it, you can um, just drag it right off and it goes away. Or you can disable individual breakpoints by just clicking on them. And that way they're, they're there, you know where they're at, and you can reset them. You can also see all the breakpoints that you have in your application just by clicking on this column, or this, uh, this view right here, this breakpoint view in your um, inspector. And you can see that. Okay, so let's, let's see how we're going to go ahead and use them. I'll move this breakpoint down. I just click and I'm dragging it down to the next line because that's really where I want it. And I'm going to go ahead and run the application right now. So I'm running it and I just hit my first breakpoint. And down here I can go ahead and I can step over, step into, step out of, okay? And I can also clear all the breakpoints in my app just by clicking this. I can not clear them, but I can toggle them on and off, okay? And then I can hit this play button, which will continue the program execution um, until it hits another breakpoint, the app crashes or it um, terminates by you closing the app. So I'm just going to go ahead and just run this to my next breakpoint. And so now I hit my next breakpoint. And here if I hover over a variable, I can see this is where the line has, it hasn't executed this line of code because X right now is some, some gnarly value. Okay, now if I step over this, I can go ahead and now see what X is. X is one. I can click on here, I can look inside my uh, my watch and my information more on it see that it's int or I can do a print output here down here to my console and say X as well and that will show it if you don't see the console down here you can simply just um, hide it or show it down here you can also move it give yourself some more room we'll give ourselves some more room here you can also see any variables that you have in scope here here I have two I have X and I have self I can also do a little bit more fancier things here by um, adding more variables and removing them as well right here um, let's see let's say uh, let's go ahead and say we want to step into a function for example so let's move it, uh, let's see here. What do I want to step into? Let's go ahead and stop it and rerun it again. Now we're not going to be able to step completely into view did load. 
because it belongs to the parent. But if I wanted to step into this function, I could hit step into, and this would step into that function. And if I was in that function, I wanted to come out, I can say step out of, okay? This here is simply stepping out of the, um, uh, the symbolic code or the uh, assembly language code for compiled code for what we're trying to do. Um, so that's kind of a quick breakdown of breakpoints and, and the Xcode IDE and how to get around and debug in your application because it's it certainly is useful. If you have any questions, feel free to um, email me or post them on YouTube. Also, if you're taking the course, um, if you're attending live right now, I'm going to go and stop the YouTube set, uh, recording and I'll take any questions here for those attending live. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you next week for Chapter 14.